Mountain climbing is one of the most adrenaline-filled and thrilling activities out there. It's a sport that requires strength, determination, and a bit of luck. It also requires a brave soul, given the potential danger of tackling some of the world's most daunting peaks. Throughout history, some of the world's greatest mountaineers have tackled the world's most challenging mountains. It's a feat that can be incredibly difficult and dangerous, but rewarding for those who succeed. Join us now for this Liberty episode as we explore some of the most famous mountain climbs in the world. From the drama and funny challenges to the hardships groups of people have faced. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment on all of these Liberty episodes that you have found interesting for you. The first of the mountain climbs that we'll look at is the first successful ascent of Mount Everest by Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Norgay in 1953. This monumental achievement saw two brave adventurers conquer the world's highest peak, reaching an altitude of 29,000 29 feet. Mount Everest is one of the most iconic mountains in the world. Located in the Himalayas, it is the highest peak in the world, standing at an impressive 8,848 meters. Every year, hundreds of climbers attempt to conquer this formidable peak, and many are successful. This climb was an incredible feat and began the tradition of mountaineers attempting to conquer the highest peak in the world. The two climbers endured extreme cold and difficult terrain, as well as a lack of oxygen to make their way to the summit. The Matterhorn is one of the most iconic peaks in the world, standing at an impressive 4,478 meters. Located in the Swiss Alps, it is a much sought-after peak for mountaineers. The Matterhorn was first conquered in 1865 when Edward Wimper, a British mountain climber, led a group of seven on an expedition. This climb was incredibly difficult and dangerous and ultimately claimed the lives of four of the climbers. Despite this tragedy, Wimper's expedition is seen as one of the greatest climbs in history and is still remembered to this day. K2, or Kugurai, as it is known locally, is the second highest mountain in the world, standing at an impressive 8,611 meters. It is located in the Karakuram mountain range on the border of China and Pakistan. K2 has been the scene of some incredible climbs throughout history. In 1954, the first successful ascent was made by the Italian climbers Achille Compagnani and Lino Lissadelli. This was an incredible feat and the two climbers were celebrated upon their return home. Mount McKinley, or Denali as it is known now, is the highest peak in North America. America, standing at an impressive 6,194 meters. Located in Alaska, it has seen some incredible climbs throughout history. In 1913, an expedition led by Hudson Stuck and Harry Karstens became the first successful climb of the mountain. This expedition was incredibly challenging due to the harsh weather conditions they faced. Despite this, they were successful in their climb and Stuck and Karstens were celebrated upon their return. In June of 1985, Joe Simpson and his climbing partner, Simon Yates, were ascending the west face of Ciola Grande, a 21,000 foot peak in the Peruvian Andes. After reaching the summit, Joe Simpson began his descent only to fall 150 feet into a crevice. Despite the immense physical shock and injuries he suffered, Joe managed to rappel further down in what he calls a form of suicide. But instead of dying, he found a way out. After being forced to spend a night in the crevice, Joe Simpson somehow managed to crawl a distance of five miles over the course of three days until he eventually reached base camp. It was an incredible feat of endurance and determination and a testament to the power of the human spirit. When Aaron Ralston set off to explore Utah's slot canyons and mountains, he probably didn't expect to become a global symbol of strength and determination. But that's exactly what happened when he became trapped between a boulder and a wall in Slot Canyon for five days. Ralston's harrowing story is well known, thanks in part to the movie 127 Hours. But unlike most of these crazy climbing stories, Ralston's didn't happen at the top of the world's tallest mountains. After five days, he amputated his own arm and was eventually rescued. The story of Aaron Ralston is an incredible display of resilience and courage. Nanga Parbat is one of the most challenging mountains on earth, and no one had ever made it to the top when Herman Buell attempted the feat in 1953. Despite the danger, the harsh conditions, and the extreme temperatures, Buell decided to press on, even after his climbing partner fell ill and he had to go it solo. It was an incredibly daring feat, 
considering that many of the people who have ever attempted to climb the mountain have not yet returned alive. Yet somehow, Buell made it up and down the mountain, even after spending a full night at 26,000 feet, hanging over a narrow edge and fighting off sleep that could have cost him his life. Doug Scott's incredible story of survival is one that truly inspires us all. In 1975, Doug Scott was attempting to climb Bainthe Brock, a remote and dangerous 8,000-meter peak in the Karakoram Range of the Himalayas. During his descent, Doug tragically fell and broke both of his legs. Despite his injuries, Doug had the courage and determination to keep pushing forward. He crawled on his hands and knees for 12 days, enduring the harsh mountain weather and cold temperatures. Somehow, he managed to stay alive and make it off the mountain. Climbing mountains can be a thrilling and rewarding experience, yet it often comes with great risk. In 1957, Tony Streeter and John Emery set to climb Haromosha Peak, a mountain in Pakistan, and despite the obstacles and dangers that came their way, they managed to make it back safely. Sadly, the same cannot be said for the rest of their climbing party. From frostbite to avalanches to lost gear, these two men faced every challenge the mountain threw at them. Tony and John's story of courage and resilience has become legendary in the mountaineering world and is a reminder of the harshness of nature's elements. It is a story of overcoming the odds of never giving up and pushing through to the summit. It is also the story of the third man, a phenomenon experienced by many mountaineers. This is the feeling that there is a presence in the mountain, a spiritual force that guides and protects them in the most dangerous of times. This presence is said to give climbers strength and courage to keep going when all hope seems lost. We hope these stories of strength and resilience inspire you to push through the challenges you face in your own lives and to never give up on your dreams. Thank you for joining this inspiring episode of Liberty. We hope you have enjoyed it. Please share, subscribe, like, and comment, and be sure to let us know what future features you would like to see from us. Thank you again. See you next time.